Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. Meeting your season goal comes with higher rewards, but also higher risk. Start your week by installing your game plan. Today, from Buffalo Bills Stadium in Orchard Park, New York, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Time for a much needed and much welcome diversion. The NFL is back. Here we go, week one. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. They'll run here with a former Steeler. This is Le'Veon Bell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Carry there by Le'Veon Bell. And he's just trying to get back to the form he exhibited in Pittsburgh when he's one of the top backs in the NFL. In 2019, though, no games over 100 yards rushing and only three games with 20 or more carries. The more he touches it, the more effective he is. Brings up second and four at the 40. Throwing again on second down. Darnold, he's going to find his tight end. That's Chris Herndon. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 41-yard line. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. Now a first down carry by Bell. And the lane closes up quickly as he'll get about three down to the 38. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll run it with Bell. Bell again. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Brings up third down. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. They'll run on first down. Bell, and he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. Jordan the first down run got five. Here's second and five. Brings up second and five. Now a draw play. This is Bell. And they'll get him down right around the 16. The ball carrier. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mucked that down for a win in the defense's column. The Buffalo defense does its job, but it's fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it, because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. 
Allen. Or they'll be led out by their third-year quarterback from Wyoming. It's Josh Allen. I think the development of Josh Allen as a starting quarterback in Buffalo has been rapid. We knew he had a big arm coming out of college. People question his accuracy, his decision-making a little bit. But I think that continues to improve as well. And the biggest surprise, how well he's used his legs to give them an extra dimension in the running game. And give him credit, his completion percentage last season was up six points from the year before. He continues to improve. 16 yards, a first down. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend, I'm sure that he's right. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. He was a third-round pick, not rounds one or two, but this franchise, they think he can be something with time. There were a few teams that thought he would go in the first round, late in the first round. He ends up sliding to the third, so a lot of teams think now maybe this group got a steal. They've got a chance to have a really good player here if he can develop. And you take a look at this draft class from a season ago, really it grades out as a pretty darn good class. So you have to give a lot of credit to the entire scouting organization. General manager, personnel department, college scouts, all came together. They evaluated it very well and got a nice payoff. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Nothing. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 23. And there's a catch there by Stephon Diggs, and he is dangerous whether you throw the ball to him short or you target him downfield for the big plays. Average nearly 18 yards per catch. That went fourth in the league last season. He is elusive and tough to get down on the ground when he's in the open field. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The ball carrier. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. They'll toss this right side to Singletary. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Singletary. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Singletary, they'll run for it. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Now, he's able to break through one tackle, but it slowed him down enough that he could only manage getting back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to... And he'll get in! Touchdown, Buffalo! Zach Moss with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Bills have taken the lead. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stumped, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. Taken about seven yards deep. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Their own 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and 10. Now a pass complete to Hogan. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. 
We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. The all-pro corner, Tredavious White picks it off. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with during a dive set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different colored jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. And we remind you, lots more to come here in this opening weekend of the Return to Football 2020. Coming up later tonight, it's the national debut of SoFi Stadium in Southern California. The Cowboys and the Rams doing battle there. And then two more to finish off the week on Monday Night Football. The Steelers and Giants from MetLife Stadium and the Titans and Broncos from Mile High. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 12 yards there and a first down. John Brown with the reception. What a year he had in 2019. Had his first 1,000-yard season since 2015 and had the most catches in his career as well with 72. A very dangerous target both downfield and in the short areas where he can make the catch and make people miss. Quick slant to Brown. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. The nine-yard line. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the court. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Avery Williamson. And it's a good return here as he'll get all the way up close to the 35. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Final shot before the break. Darnold, that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has... This will be a touchback. Here comes Josh Allen and the Bills offense back onto the field. And he's had some time to chew on that interception he threw on his last drive back in the first half. Well, normally we say, you want to get him right back out on the field and play again, right? But as you mentioned, had the halftime, had to stew about it a little bit. Maybe he'll have a chance to relax a little, kind of laugh and chuckle and let it go. He'll hope to respond positively here to start the third quarter. On second down now. Singletary, and from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. It's a gain of four, brings up third and six. So the shotgun snap to Allen, and he's able to find Diggs. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time, they get it to him the more conventional way. 
and is much more successful as well. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. And this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? For some secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play, but on that one, he looked like one of those guys. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Third and seven. From the gun, it's Allen. And that will be incomplete. Allen's pass intended for... We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Well, close game, second half. You obviously hate to leave three out on the field. Especially in a game like this when you know points are hard to come by. That was one of their best opportunities so far. And they come away with nothing. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And all down to the 26. To Chris Hogan. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 42 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Out of the shotgun. It's Bell. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. It's a pickup at three. Brings up second and... They'll go again with Bell. 24-yard line. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Bell on the carry. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Ficken's kick is good. And they'll get it back with it a point at 7-6. Seven to six. Jets, 6. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, Coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. And here come the Bills. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Singletary to get the drive started. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Second and six, just inside the 30. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. Let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Brings up third and one. They'll try and run for this with Morris. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Patrick Onwasor up to make the tackle. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Singletary again, and he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. He was tackled at the That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. Third and four. Allen from the gun on third down. Finding Knox there, complete. Yeah, he will be very 
getting close to a first down, but I see the close fist to the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. He was credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Brings up second and nine. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. And Singletary, the ball carrier. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game. That'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets, 26. 14 yards, and the Bills will get a new set of downs. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. On first down, Singletary. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. Carrier. Oh, oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one right up the gut. Saw through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs, clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, Keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. On second down, Singletary, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ball game. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Oh, taking it in from seven yards away. But the Bills will add on to their lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, <laughs> but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Darnold and the Jets now. Down 14 to 6, a minute 54 on the clock. Rodgers got it over the middle. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Partner, they're clip. Jarno, he lost the football. And the Bills have recovered. The quarterback taken down and sacked. And they were hoping to get down there, get the score, and get this thing into overtime. How deflating. Absolutely. I mean, let's face it, heartbreaking. They had an opportunity, had a chance, and probably were feeling pretty good about what was going on, and that was taken away from them by their own mistake. Yeah, the opportunity squashed. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Singletary here running out of the gun. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Bills use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. I think all teams probably like seeing that schedule for the first time. Looking at week one, oh good, we're at home. This is why you want to be home in week one. They're looking sharp. And I agree with you totally. That's what you want. But there carries a little extra pressure with that as well because you and I both know 
protecting the home field, winning your home games is paramount in this league. So you go into it, yeah, we want it, but now you actually have to go out and prove it. Yeah, two sides to that coin and looking like they're going to protect it here in this one. Darnold on first down. Throw complete to Herndon. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much right after the catch. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. They'll go for it with Bell. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Darnold from the gun. He's got Herndon, his tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. On first and 10, Darnold incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Tremaine Edmonds, the linebacker, able to break that one up. For Davies White on the cover. Second down and 10, Darnold. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. To the air again, Darnold. And this is caught inside the five. So it's a victory here for the Buffalo Bills. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for Buffalo, that'll be a happy locker room as they start this season 1-0. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Jets... The players on your team quickly upgrade your team at the end of each game. Start your week by installing your game plan. 